All right, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will go over how to use event handlers in your launch file. This is great if you want to launch actions to happen at a specific order or sequence. I will go over the launch file that uses the event handlers, build the package, and run the launch file. Note that we're using the launch tutorial package from the previous tutorial, so if you haven't done that, make sure you make it. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So let's go ahead and move our example event handlers launch.py into our launch folder. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and go to our uh, launch folder here and then uh, paste it. So it's going to be in our launch tutorial launch here. So I'll paste it in here. So let's take a look at this file. So you can see the structure is similar in that we're going to have a definition here called generate launch description. So inside of here, we have our launch configurations. This will be our turtle sim namespace, use provided red, and new background R. So these are our input arguments. So here we declare our launch arguments here. So these will be the three arguments that can be supplied to this launch file. So that is pretty much the same as before. Um, the main thing that's different now is notice that here what, we're, what we have is we have a register event handler. So this here is going to start some process and wait for certain things to happen. So let's take a look at our main return function. So here we're returning our launch arguments. And then here we have our turtle sim node, which we declare here up on top. So if we come back down, we're going to see we have register event handler. So we have on process start. Target action is turtle sim node. So on start, it's going to launch the run the spawn turtle. Okay, so this is going to have the target action and on start is going to do something. So once the turtle sim node has happened, this is going to do the spawn turtle. And then here, the next one, you have um, target action spawn turtle. Then it's going to say spawn request it says and then output something. Okay, and then here we have another register event handler. So the target action is spawn turtle. On completion, so when it's done, it's going to say spawn finished. And it's going to output some things about the color. And then the next one is register event handler on process exit. So when we exit the turtle sim node, it's going to say close the turtle sim window and then window close. And here we have a final one, register event handler on shutdown. So here we say launch was asked to shut down, and then it just pretty much terminates. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and build our package. So we're going to go to our workspace and Colt can build our launch tutorial. So this will let us test our package that we just made. And then if we scroll down, we could go ahead and run our launch file. So we're going to source our install and then use these parameter settings here. So we have turtle sim NS is turtle sim three, use provided red is true and new background R equals 200. So if we run this, we see our turtles pop up and the background changes. And you can see here, it gives us feedback as we expected, process started, process has finished, process started with PID, process has finished cleanly. So that gives us feedback as we expect. And then when I close it out, it says process has finished. Here it says KW closed the turtle sim window. And then it says launch was asked to shut down, window closed. Okay, so in our next video, we're going to talk about launch file in a large project. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.